What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you our Team of the Season Adama Traore player review. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. And if you do sub, you will be entered into the FIFA Points giveaway that I'm going to be doing at 1,000 subscribers. So with that said, please subscribe, and let's jump right into this player review. So... Everyone knows this guy's a, this guy is an OP player, but we're going to go over his stats and everything, and then we're going to jump into a live game for you. So height 510 doesn't really matter too much. Uh, high medium work rates is absolutely perfect. That's what I love on my players. Right footed works perfectly for me because I have Sané left footed for the other side. Four star skill moves is fantastic on this card. Does help out a lot. Oh, one of the big dragbacks to his card is the three-star weak foot. It really does st suck having th the three-star weak foot, but if you're playing him on the wing, it's, it's a, a lot better than having like a striker with three-star weak foot. You're really able to kind of maneuver the ball on that strong foot and try to hit it cross goal or near post with his right foot, which is the dominant foot. Um, I got him first owner out of my Premier League guaranteed pack. We can go ahead and check his price here. Uh, let's see. So he's going to be sitting about 250k on Xbox here, maybe 260. So right around that area for you guys. Um, I've played 30 games with him, all Div Rivals and Foot Champs. He's got 6 goals and 13 assists, which is a solid return for someone that I play at right cam, who doesn't get involved a lot in the play, since he does play on the outside there. But let's jump into the in-game stats here. So first of all, obviously pace, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Cannot be touched there. It's just, it's perfect. Um, next after that is his shooting, which is a weird one. He's got 85 positioning and 82 finishing, which is not good enough whatsoever for this point in the game. He's got 99 shot power, which is perfect. And then the long shots, volleys, and penalties aren't very good. So guys, what I did to fix this is I put the dead eye chemistry style on him, which I think is fantastic because you're going to get 14 positioning, which brings him up to 99, 15 finishing, which brings him up to 97, so then his positioning, finishing, and shot power are all fantastic, which is really all you need because you're not going to be shooting long shots with this guy. So his positioning, finishing, shot power are all perfect with the dead eye chemistry style other than finishing 97, but that's basically top tier. And then his long shots also get up to 82 in case you do want to pop a shot with him. So next after that, his vision is 80, which is a bit low. So with this dead eye chem style, he does get up to 90. Crossing is 99, which is unbelievable for a winger, which is great. Short passing, also 99 with the chem style. 90 without it, which is still really good. Oh, long passing is a bit low at 73, so it kind of sucks that the dead eye chem style doesn't hit that. But long passing isn't a huge deal for him. You're usually kind of cutting in, running down the wing, and then kind of just playing a ball across goal with him. And then 91 curve goes up to 96 with the dead eye. His curve is fantastic. So we get into the dribbling. So the two things here that are issues are two big stats in this game, reactions and composure. Um, I don't really seem to notice those, but all the pros, all the big level FIFA players say those are important. So I kind of trust in them. So it sucks that those are kind of low. But in terms of the other two big stats, the agility and balance, 92 agility, 95 balance. This guy feels so good on the ball. Even at 5'10", he's not super short. But you're able to turn with him, keep the ball under control with 87 ball control, 97 dribbling. He feels fantastic on the ball. Defending doesn't matter at all. And then after that, his physicals are fantastic. 90 jumping, he wins like every header. Because he is at 5'10 with 90 jumping, he wins him. 90 stamina is fantastic. Uh, 99 strength, nobody can push this guy off the ball. So with the combination of his pace and strength, he's unbelievable. And then 76 aggression is a bit low, but I don't really notice it. So the key stats on this card, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 99 strength, 99 shot power, and then with the chem style, he gets the 99 positioning, 97 finishing, and then also the 92 agility, 95 balance. So this card's fantastic. This is the team we're going to be running him in. You guys may have seen this before. It's my main team here. And if I go to custom tactics here, we play a 4-2-3-1. We play him at right cam here, and he's on... Get into the box for cross, and that's it. Everything else is on basic there. So that's where we play him. We're going to get into a live game here. I definitely think he's a really solid player for his price. On the ball, he feels fantastic. He doesn't get pushed off of it. Um, weak foot, obviously, is a bit annoying, but I have scored some decent goals with his left foot. 
I did in another player review. I think it might have been the Mares when we scored a great goal on his left foot. So he's really good. Let's jump into a live game and show you guys what he's all about. So here we go. Right, guys, here we go into the game. Let's check out the team. And that is a fantastic team there. Pele and Mateus right there in the midfield. Foot birthday, Griezmann, Rodrigo, and I'm forgetting his name for some reason, but he's uh, Da Costa. And then he's got his center backs are great with flashback Luis and flashback Boateng. He's got Red Allison in goal, which is great. So he's got a really solid team here. It's going to be a tough one, but hopefully we can get a win here. And hopefully Trey Ray can help us out. Here we go. Good ball into Griezmann there, though. Oh, wow, he's through here and he's already scored. This guy is very good at the game. <laughs> Do not know if we're going to be able to get a win here, guys. This guy seems like he is going to be much better than me. <laughs> yeah, he pulls the drag back there. There we go, guys. Half time. We had a really good chance at the end there that we could have could have gotten a goal with Mares, but we're down 1 0. This guy's a really solid player, especially in his attack. He's been good. Uh, not not much in terms of shots this game, but I've definitely been getting into the attack a lot more. I think we could grab a goal here. Traore's played well. He's made some good runs, but we haven't been able to break him down completely. But hopefully we can get a goal here and at least get a draw out of this game. So here we go. Uh, close down those passing lanes down the, uh, the left wing for him. Let's cover up that. Oh my gosh, I thought I was there to be honest. And what a hit from Griezmann from no angle there. I thought I had that pass covered there. I, I read it. I stood there with Trent, and somehow he gets that through to Griezmann. So he's up 2-0 here, guys. Not a great game here, and he's pulling out all the celebrations. A little unfortunate there to go down 2-0. He's got two shots, two on target, two goals. But hey, hopefully we can get one goal back here. It only takes one to put us right back in this game. He just brought on Traore. Right? Yeah, he just brought on Traore right? in the player review as well. So here we go with Sané here. What are we going to do? That De Costa foot birthday is a beast. We're there though. Somehow we get this back. Here we go with Mares. Get that goal. There we go. We're back in it, guys. Troy are not really involved in that goal, but we get a goal back there. We're down 2 1 still. But good work there from Mares. Little drag back. Finesse that into the far corner. Allison, no chance. 2 1. Come on, let's get another one back here. We get this into Mares. Into Aguero here. Back into Mares. What can we do here? Mares. Oh, we're back in it, guys. 2 to 2. Mares with another goal there. That's brilliant. Not bad there for Mares. We're back in it. Beautiful scoop turn on the left foot. Smashes that into the near post. Allison, no idea what to do there. 2-2, two two, we're back in it here. Coming back to help defend. Here we go. Mares is causing him tons of issues here. Can we find Mares here? Back into Aguero. Near post, it's 3-2, to two, guys. What a game here. What a game this is. We're up 3-2 to two from down 2-0. All in the second half. There we go. He goes up 2-0 early in the second half. We pulled three goals back here. We're up 3-2. What a game this has been. Mares finds Aguero back in for the first time finish. Triore. He just did the no-loss glitch on us in this. Like, that's not a disconnect there, guys. That's that no-loss glitch, I believe. Because we're going to get right back onto the servers here, as I'll show you. So I believe that's a no-loss glitch done in Rivals, the no-loss glitch that's in the game right now. So that's really annoying there. We were up 3-2 to two with that comeback, about to get the win, and he hits us with that. So I don't really care because it's not a foot champs game. It's a bit annoying, but what a game we had there in our player review. Down 2-0 to up 3-2, to two, about to win the game. Traore running down the wing there. And we get the little disconnect, no loss, whatever it was there. So, guys, I guess that's going to be it for the gameplay section. But we're going to kind of go over the card. So, one thing that I started to notice in-game that I didn't really talk about is how much Adama helps in the defensive aspect of the game. This dude is so good at defending because of his combination of pace and strength. He literally just pushes everyone off the ball. He runs everyone down. He's unbelievable on the ball as well. I've gotten so many 
So many times I pulled him short on a corner and then I just run down that wing, body players, cut it inside, and he just finds someone for an easy goal. So Adama, definitely an absolutely insane player you should try to get into your team. The combination of pace and strength is just unmatched in this game. I, like 99 pace, 99 strength. It, it just doesn't get beat. With the Deadeye chemistry style, he's unbelievable because he gets that positioning and finishing up all the way. Agility and balance are unbelievable. His defensive stats are bad, but in terms of coming back to defend, he's fantastic. So in, for 250k and a Spanish guy in the Premier League, he gets great lengths. He's easy to get into a team. Only thing is that three-star weak foot. With the Deadeye chem style, it pretty much fixes everything else. So I definitely recommend you guys get this guy in your team. But that's going to be it for this player review. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the giveaway I'm going to be doing. And I'll catch you in the next video.